we shall be writing our first program. I shall be writing all my programs by using functions from both C and C++. This is the first line of our program. It tells the compiler to include a standard file called iastream. Such files are called header files, and they contain a lot of pre-written code. Standard header files do not have any extension. The header file we are including will help us read and write to the monitor. Our first statement is called a preprocessor directive. I won't be able to explain the meaning of this directive today. Its meaning will become clear towards the end of this course. Till then you will have to write it as such. This is called the main function. Every C++ program has to contain this function. Code execution starts from this very function. This function has a pair of braces. Both of them are compulsory. These braces contain the code body of the main function. The statements written inside it are sequentially executed one by one. This statement is used to print data to the console output screen. Notice the direction of two small arrows. They carry data from our program to the monitor. The characters of text must be always in double quotes. Beginners usually forget to match them. This statement is called the return statement. Code execution stops at a return statement. Our return statement returns zero, which is traditionally an integer number for success. A return statement must return the same type as mentioned on the contain function. Our main has a return type of an int. And the return statement returns a matching type, because zero is an integer number. As per the C++ standard, the main function should return an int. That should explain why we have used an int and not anything else. You need to keep a couple of things in mind. Firstly, C++ is case sensitive. So you have to type everything as such. Usually, Keywords of C++ are in lower case. Strings of characters must be in double quotes. 